hello and welcome to part 6 of our video lesson in computer network today in this video lesson we're going to study about cloud computing let's get started cloud computing what is a cloud while referring to a cloud you may have come across the picture cloud but this is not the case but somewhat similar now what is a cloud a cloud refers to a server that are accessed over the internet and the software and database that runs on those servers now you already know what is a server a server is a device uh, externally where you can save your data or where data or all the information are stored uh, in a cloud just like a server it is a server where where your all the informations are stored apart from that you can install a software you can install a program your data that is nothing but a cloud now in order to access a cloud you need internet so cloud uses internet to access the programs whatever you're running we can use a cloud with the help of electronic device say laptop or a mobile phone now what is a cloud computing cloud computing can be defined as the storage of data and programs over the internet instead of your computer hard drive now normally what we do we install programs or any other software in our hard drive or in your memory card but if you're using cloud computing you can store your data or programs over the internet such type is called cloud computing now, examples of cloud computing are gmail facebook and dropbox now, take the example of facebook if you have your facebook account you can access in your mobile phone say for example facebook now facebook is a cloud computing device through which we can access your data over the internet now in facebook you have your account normally you can access through your mobile phone or your laptop now suppose you're going somewhere you forgot your mobile phone or laptop but you want to access facebook so what you can do you can ask your friend's phone you can log in and you can access your facebook same is the case with gmail and dropbox now dropbox is a software where you can save your photos your data your music over the internet that is nothing but a dropbox use of cloud computing now where do we use cloud computing number one for enterprises now for business the cloud has the potential to transform operation as well as cut the cost since in a cloud you don't need to buy a license and you don't need to install personally in your laptop so it reduced the cost and it has the potential to transform operation office running computer network would no longer have to deal with software installation for each computer as well as license now in office what you do normally we install a software for each and every computer now if you're using cloud then you don't need to install in software for each computer as well as there's license is not required for each computer one license is enough to work in office now this elevates a tremendous IT load IT is nothing but a information technology office right where projects are done projects based on website or any other what the client demands they do so use of cloud include data storage offering remote access to any work related data nowadays we have now these people are working at home work at home is there so what people do uh, from IT sector people work at home how because they use cloud they can access the cloud over the internet because of this reason it reduces a load in the IT sector so whatever projects they do whatever they code suppose uh, one IT sector is doing a project on Python now if the Python if you have bought a python over the cloud then you can work on a cloud anywhere at home office anywhere whatever project you are doing it will be safe in a cloud that include data storage now why should we use cloud computing what are the benefits of cloud computing what are the benefits of cloud computing number one it is a low cost why because we don't need to install a software and no license is required flexibility now you can work at home and you can work anywhere that is remote access you can work if you have internet at home 
right. internet is required for working in cloud computing collaboration now just from one software many people can work mm. so you can collaborate while working in cloud computing you can update a software over the internet in cloud computing mobility like i said you can access the cloud from laptop or a mobile over the internet even if you're at home or your in your friend's house or in office you can work nowadays we have work at home where where people are working from home that is cloud computing that allows prevention now normally what happens when we install a software we install software on a hard drive in a laptop so what happens if the laptop get damaged your data everything will get lost so if you're using cloud computing since the data storage is over the internet that is in a cloud so there is no data loss so it prevents data loss cloud computing prevents data loss it is secure and productivity is high these are the benefits of cloud computing now the under use of cloud computing is mobility one of the other most obvious use of cloud computing is the mobility that it brings both to the recreational user as well as to the corporate and the business user now because of cloud computing you can work anywhere you can work from laptop or your computer in office or at home many of us are already familiar with some cloud computing service like google docs or even email service now this google docs google docs allow us to work over the internet that is nothing but a cloud computing so in google docs, google docs what you can do you can you can work in microsoft office like word powerpoint and save it over the internet which uh, prevents the data loss right and which is very flexible and even email services like your gmail where you can we can save the data and you can work now with these two apps we can access documents or mail that is not stored on our pc but it is available to use because it is stored on a cloud or remote location now before we have talked about use of cloud computer where it is used now we have seen that it is used in a company or we can use as a personal work now there are different types of cloud computing number one public cloud number two is private cloud now let's discuss uh, what is public cloud and what is private cloud now normally what happened in public cloud in public uh, cloud the company shared the data over the cloud but in private cloud as you know private the word private you know what is what you mean by private so private means it, it has some privacy over the software that they work they work only in a single company but in public many company can come collaborate and work in a public cloud now let us go in detail what is a public cloud now in simplest term public cloud is a technology where a resource is provided as a service through the internet to a user like your google docs google docs can be accessed by anyone so it is a public cloud now the cloud resource like server and storage are owned and operated by the third party cloud service provider and delivered over the internet Say example now google docs now google docs is a third party cloud service provider and it is delivered over the internet to us all hardware software and other supporting infrastructure is owned and managed by the cloud provider so whatever hardware hardware is nothing but a server the software which is there in a cloud right it is stored in a cloud uh, and other supporting infrastructure that is owned by the cloud provider so the google suppose a google doc google doc is owned by the cloud provider where it has a hardware a software and other infrastructure in public cloud you share the same hardware storage and network devices with other organization or cloud tenants say for example you're working on google docs say for example you're working on microsoft office you're doing some work on microsoft word or powerpoint the hardware that we use and the storage that we use and the network devices all will be shared in a public cloud now you can access a public cloud by using a web browser say for firefox or google chrome or any, any other browser like safari so you can access with your account once you have your account you can access with the help of a web browser now some of the examples of public cloud are google free service like gmail google docs google drive icloud 
etc what is a google drive google drive is a device where you can store your image your documents and all the related information over the internet that is nothing but a cloud so what happens when you want to access this data you can go access by going over the internet private cloud a private cloud is a cloud service that is not shared with any other organization the private cloud user has the cloud to themselves so there's some organization which works for themselves only they work over the internet for themselves it will not be available for the user such type of cloud is called a private cloud now a public cloud is like renting an apartment while private cloud is like renting a similar size house authorized user can access private cloud application through companies intranet or through a closed virtual private network for example bank where public cannot access the data no bank we cannot access others information how many how much money other people are having only the bank people can access so this is the best example of private cloud where where the all the information are stored in a cloud so best example for private cloud is bank other examples of private cloud is vpn or virtual private network so what happens in virtual private network in virtual private network you can access the private cloud through your ip address right we'll discuss about ip address later now let's see what is infrastructure as a service or we call it iaas now this service offers all computing resource built in virtual environment so that multiple users can access them you can work over the internet to access the resource say your google docs these are nothing but the infrastructure as a service resources that are included in ias are data storage virtualization server and networking now vendors are responsible for managing the above resource who are the vendors vendors are the person like your shop owner all right now how do we get the materials like vegetables from the shops so vendors are are like the shops so the resource that we get are responsible with the vendors users will be responsible for handling other resources such as application data runtime and middleware now usually infrastructure as a service is used by system admins not by public right system admins where they handle everything examples of infrastructure as a service are amazon ec2 windows azure etc so these are some of the examples of infrastructure as a service platform as a service now you know what is a platform platform is a device through which we can work say for example your windows windows is a platform your android is a platform right who uses we user use as a platform for a service for working in your world or for playing games we use this platform say for example you're playing a famous game like pubg what is the platform you use android so platform as a service so this service is mainly a development environment and is made up of programming language execution and operating system web server and a database so mainly this development environment is made up of programming language execution like your python your java and operating system like your windows linux or your ios web server and database now database is usually nothing but a, a storage device where you can store like your memory card but it works under certain programs this environment allows user to build compile and run the program now how it sectors are working in office over the cloud they're working on platform as a service where they will have python as their project or java as their project so what they do they will build the program compile and run the program over the internet user manage data and application resource now who is a user we we manage the data those who work in platform as a service like in it sector they will manage the data and application resource all other resources are managed by vendors say the storage the storage of the storage of your project over the cloud will be 
managed by the vendors developers who develop website application or any other application you choose a platform as a service now those who create a website let's say for example your facebook is a web website google is a website or encyclopedia wikipedia is a website so those people who work on these programs or this application uses platform as a service example of platform as a service are google app engine force.com windows azure etc these are some of the examples of platform as a service software as a service the service that we use as a software over the cloud can be termed as software as a service now it is a software distribution model in which third party provider hosts application and makes them available to customer over the internet say for example your microsoft office where you want to work in your powerpoint or your word over the internet so for these people software as a service is introduced over the internet for the customer now users do not need to download and install a software in a computer and can work over the in internet by web browsing if the software is already there in a cloud so you don't need to download and install software in your computer or laptop and you can work over the internet by web browsing that particular website where you can work over the cloud users also have the opportunity of the paid use usually through internet now normally work from cloud computing as a software services sometimes it is free and sometimes it is not so sometimes you have to pay over the internet now resource is managed by the vendor so all this managing of your data will be done by the vendor so who uses this software as a service people like us who needs to work over the internet who doesn't want to install uh, the software who do not wish to install a software in your laptop or a computer can use cloud computing as software as a service some of the examples of software as a service are google app google app contains your similar like microsoft office right like microsoft word your powerpoint so these are the examples of software as a service through which you can work over the internet in cloud computing now let's see what are the advantages of cloud computing once the data is stored in a cloud it is easier to get backup and restore the data using the cloud now if you're using cloud computing for data storage so data loss will not be there so you can easily back up your data and wherever you want you can restore the data using the cloud say for example your google photos which is which comes under google apps so you instead of putting your photos in your gallery of your phone you can put it over the cloud so that so that it will not get lost and in case if you need you can restore it back to your phone now cloud applications improve collaboration by allowing groups of people to quickly and easily share information in the cloud via shared storage now you can collaborate with people quickly with uh, if you're using a cloud computing and easily share information in a cloud via shared storage say for example your say for example your Quora all right Quora is one device where you can share information say for example your Facebook Facebook is another example where you can share information say uh, one person created a page about general knowledge now one person shared uh, one person created a page one person created a page about general knowledge so if you subscribe or like to the page every information about the general knowledge he posted you will get updated in your facebook account it allows groups of people to quickly and easily share information all right in a cloud so this is the best example of sharing cloud cloud computing allows us to easily access all the cloud data via mobile now if you're using cloud computing as a device so what happened you can you can easily access with mobile it is not necessary that you have to access the cloud computing or the cloud data with laptop or a computer you can easily access with your mobile phone cloud offers as a huge amount of storing capacity for storing our important data such as documents image audio video 
in one place say for example google docs google docs or any other example like google drive these are cloud computing devices which allow us to store our data like image documents audio video in over the internet this app contains huge capacity huge storage capacity now like for example google drive has a capacity of around 15 gb right of around 15 to 14 gb now that is not that is a huge storage capacity where you can store your documents over the internet now cloud computing reduces both hardware and software maintenance costs for organization if you're working over the cloud there is no damage for the software or the hardware so the maintenance cost is less for the organization so these are the advantages of cloud computing these advantages of cloud computing if you're using cloud computing internet is required so internet connectivity is required to access cloud computing less control over the function and execution of service within a cloud infrastructure like is it the vendor manages the resource so you have less control over the data or the function and execution service in a cloud infrastructure now although cloud service provider implement the best security standards to store important information but before adopting cloud technology you should be aware that you'll be sending all your organization's sensitive information to a third party that is cloud computing service provider while sending data on the cloud there may be chance that your organization's information is hacked by the hacker now since you're sending over the internet so security chance chances of getting hacked is more vendors lock in is the biggest disadvantage of cloud computing organizations may face problems when transferring their service from one vendor to another as different vendors provide different platforms they can cause difficulty moving from one cloud to another say suppose one cloud has a platform windows operating system and there's one cloud under cloud if you want to shift to another cloud the same documents you want to transfer say that uh, say the another another cloud computing server uses linux as operating system or android as operating system now if you want to transfer your documents or transfer your service from one vendor to another it will be difficult vendors provide different platforms so it is difficult to move from one cloud to another say for example facebook if you're creating a facebook app suppose you have created a facebook app for android no the same cannot be used for ios you have to use different coding so transferring is difficult same is the case when uh, transferring to windows say for example you you have you're creating a facebook application or on the windows platform this cannot be transferred easily to ios or android platform so difficulty is there in cloud computing while transferring the services so these are the disadvantages of cloud computing